that was a word of knowledge. That's exactly my next slide. Oh, okay. Your father's house has much bread and many rooms. Will you say again with me? My father's house has much bread, many rooms. I am not an orphan. I have a place to lie down. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and he leads me by the still waters. This scripture comes from the prodigal son returning home. When he came to himself, his image had got so ruined living with pigs. He was considering eating pig food. Then the image of the father, will you say with me, image of the father, came back to him. Image of the heavenly father and the remembrance of his earthly father at home. He came to himself. He came to that he's a precious son. We want to tell you that we here are God's family. When you come here for the first time, you enter a family that is very simple. We are very simple people. You are welcome every Sunday to come here. You will get what you see. We are friendly now on stage. You meet any one of us any time after the service will be just like this. Just like this. We are not celebrities. We are just simple people. I am a father, bigger part. I am a husband, I am a father, I am a grandfather, and I am a spiritual father to many, many sons. They range from literally Point Pedro to Don Red, from Columbus City to Batiklo. I have been spending with them three, four days. It was heaven on earth. Yesterday, Saturday at 4 p.m., heaven really opened and an eternal moment came. Anybody could recover anything at that time. Past seas, say with me, past seas. So anything that went wrong in the past was available from the Father's face and to recover, recovery, restoration, restitution, recompense. Will you say it me, recovery? You are here for that. We are well prepared for this service because of four days we have been in the presence of the Lord. If you came here and you found what has come here, Certainly not the tornado that came to Oklahoma. It was a wind of the Lord. Actually a storm of the Lord. Recovery. Restoration. Restitution. Recompense. More than you ever had. More than you ever had. You may not be conversant in the English language. That's okay. We have a single language service, Sunday morning, 8.30. But if you want to come for the Sunday morning English language service, or single language service, or Tamil language service, you are very welcome. Sunday evening is this 5 p.m. service. We expect the power of God for your finances. We expect the power of God for your health. We expect the power of God for deliverance. Curses to be removed, family lands to be re re redeemed, debt to cease, demon power be broken, and any hereditary disease, as someone described, psoriasis is an autosomal D dominant chromosomal disease. It's in the chromosome, it's in the genetics, but it's not going to your child. Will you say, Praise the Lord? Yes, that's the workhouse. That happens on Sunday at 5 p.m. So you know the prodigal return because he came to himself. Why did he come to himself? He said, can you see what did he say? In my father's house. Will you say with me? In my father's house. There's enough bread. Even for servants. 
But I am not a servant. I am a son. Today you have become God's son because you said, Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And who is Lord Jesus? He is the son of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So when the Lord Jesus Christ comes into you, God considers you his son and his daughter. Because Christ is in you. Will you say it me? Because Christ is in me. I'm God's son. I'm God's daughter. Because Christ is in me. That's why we call it divine encounter, divine embrace. Will you say that also? Divine encounter, divine embrace. Now one day, so the son came to himself and said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe. Put it on him and put a ring on his hand. Shoes on his feet. Then one, This is a son who had gone to the pig house. And here is the story of a leper. And in those days, even now you know leprosy is a, it has a social stigma. In those days, leprosy was a dreadful disease. Beloved, I wish above all things, will God heal? That was someone's question, meaning the way he formed his prayer, if he will. Now we know what God, will, God wills. Will you say it to me, now we know? What God wills. But Jesus Christ is God. He came in human form and he healed everywhere. And he's the same yesterday, today and for. Ever. Hebrews 13, 7. So he still heals. He's alive and he heals. He's alive. He heals. Don't wait till the end of the service to be healed. I told you the electricity of God is all over in the atmosphere. There is a mantle of healing. There is a power network of healing. Every time your spirit is quickened and you say something that I am saying or you say some of the scriptures you see or you say some prompting of the Holy Spirit and you say, Jesus is alive, I am healed. It will happen. It will happen. You have only to touch the power of God. You will never be the same. When you touch the power of God, you will never be the same. When you touch the power of God, you will never be the same. So here is the scripture. Beloved, I wish above all things, 3 John 2, that you may prosper and be in health, even as you are soul prospers. This is God's will for you. So this leprosy man came and look, the physician says he was full of leprosy. In the Middle East you get a leprosy called lepromatous leprosy. You don't get it in Sri Lanka. It's very infective and it begins to ruin your fingers and it's very infectious, contagious. So you know, uh, in, in those countries, lepers are not allowed to come to normal society. They had to go on the side of the road or they are in asylums, in, in places that others can't go and see them. And if they have to go on the road at any time, they had to ring a bell and say, I'm unclean, I'm unclean. Imagine the pathetic situation of a person who has to constantly say that. And one such person came to Jesus. You know, in Anuradhapur, an assembly lady came all covered from top of her head to the tip of her toes and tip of her fingers. And our pastor Mahinda thought she must have gone to Middle East and found a new dress because she was so dressed. But she doesn't come near anybody. If someone comes near her, she moves away because she smells all over her body some skin thing. So she has to cover herself having dressed herself even the fingers have to be covered with a shawl. If people say, see, she knew, they, they, they will despise her. But at the prayer time, she waited till everybody had finished, quickly came on her side and lifted the fingers, shawl and said, this is my problem. Then Mahinda understood. And he prayed. What do you think happened? Completely healed. Will you give a hand clap to Jesus? completely healed. So this leper came and a leper came to him imploring him and kneeling said to him if you will you heard someone's kind of way he prayed 
if you will, you can make me clean. And forever, Jesus settled that doubt, moved with pity. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, what did Jesus say? I will be clean, meaning be healed. And immediately, the leprosy left him and he was made clean. Mm. What a healing Jesus I found in you What a healing Jesus You restore, refresh and renew What a healing Jesus, for such a time as this, arise on healing wings, the sound of righteousness. What a healing Jesus, I found in you. receive from God few benefits sometimes we have thought he may not give it to us sometimes we thought there's sin in us sometimes we thought I didn't fast and pray sometimes we thought I'm unworthy that's not the way the Lord thinks he wants you to move today from benefits to blessings will you say it me benefits to blessings bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul forget not all his benefits so we we don't want to forget the benefits the mercies but today we are going to move to blessings when all that is in you. Every thought about your child will be a blessing. Every thought you have for your finances will be a blessing. Every thought you have about your health will be a blessing. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who? pardons, forgives my iniquities, heals all my diseases. You know, pardoning iniquity, absolute benefit, we need it. But healing diseases is his blessing. He likes to do it. Will you believe this? Pardon iniquities, you must. But healing diseases, it's his bonus. Will you catch it? Healing diseases is his bonus. Healing diseases is his bonus. Pardon iniquity absolutely must by the blood of Jesus Christ. When he was crucified and that blood freely flowed, all our thorns went on him. All our sins went on him. All our iniquities went on him. He was pierced for our transgression. And he was whip, whiplashed for our iniquities. And by his stripes we are healed. You can say the same thing. When you say, by his stripes, I am healed. You are touching the electricity of God. Healing comes 
through his word. Psalm 107 verse 20, God sent his word. So when you are hearing the word, the word is coming, make that word for yourself. Electricity of God is here. You just plug into it with a 